Acknowledging the traditional owners of the land where we meet today and pay my respects to Elders past and present um, and can I particularly thank Lynn for his warm um, welcome here today and acknowledge the Elders that are here with us, Oriel, Stan, Winsome, um, who have contributed to this project. It's, it's an honour to be here with you. Um, there is a long list of um, people to acknowledge and I think we've gone through them but equally I'm going to curtail the list and just acknowledge the Mayor, Mark Irwin. Um, my parliamentary colleague, if she's here, Alan Lorna Harper, the Honourable Lorna Harper. Thank you, great to see you here. Um, and also the City of Stirling councillors, Carla Perkov, Andrea Criado. It is um, terrific to be here, um, and it is a great privilege to have the opportunity to represent uh, the Honourable Roger Cook, uh, Deputy Premier and the Minister for Health. Uh, he invited me to represent him here today. He was um, sorry that he couldn't uh, be here with you to celebrate the opening of this walk. Um, and what I know is that this has been an amazing project. Uh, we come together today to uh, officially open the walk, but actually the magic's been happening for some time as so many groups in this community have come together um, and collaborated to create something really special. And I think sometimes it's hard to tell whether the really special piece is the walk trail or the special piece is the, the relationships um, and the solidarity and the unity and the resilience that's created from working together to, to do that. And I think they're both equally important, even though um, perhaps the second doesn't have that, that physical element. It is one of the remarkable things, I think, about this community is the partnerships that breed such great resilience and can contribute um, and make projects like this, which I think are so special and really very unique. So there's several things I think about this trail that are noteworthy. Um, and firstly, I think it is really important to, to, to recognise that this project's about recognising the important legacy of our First Nation people, uh, and that it's been acknowledged in this process and respected. Um, the nature of the activities undertaken to develop the trail have been intergenerational, and we saw that in the video. Um, it reflects the importance of family to our local community and those enduring bonds. And I think it also recognises that part of what we're trying to do is pass on um, culture, heritage, understanding to the next generation that come after us. There's also been this incredible intersectorial collaboration between state government entities, between local government, uh, between community organisations and individuals in this community have remarkably stepped up as well. So it is across a wide range of agencies and organisations. And I think the other thing about um, this project is that underlying it is a recognition about having healthy, healthy active living. Um, and that that's what's been promoted and been celebrated in this. Although um, it's not ideal weather to be walking, we'll just acknowledge that, it is a little warm, but nonetheless, we're creating something that will not only contribute to people's enjoyment of the area, but hopefully contribute to their health and wellbeing over a long period of time. So it is a, a remarkable project, um, and I think it brings together uh, in its heart a recognition of the Aboriginal and cultural heritage in this area, acknowledges it, respects it, but it also recognises that our area here, our communities, made up of people who come from all regions, from many, many ethnic backgrounds, from people of all ages, people of all genders, uh, and everyone has got something that they can contribute. And then I think when we um, have that strong sense of inclusion, that strong sense of acceptance, that's how we build a strong community and a strong civil society. And I think that is, for me, one of the really special things about this community, that that lies very much at the heart of it. Um, there's been so many people involved uh, in, this, in this project team um, that have done incredible work. Um, it, it's too long a list to name, but I think we do have to acknowledge Vilma's very central uh, role. To the world. I really also wanted in my comments to just acknowledge that it, ha that it, it has facilitated an involvement from members of the community and people who have stepped up to be involved have really generously given of themselves to this project as well and I think that's a remarkable thing that we're not just activating a space, we're activating people to step forward and step up and be active contributors in building a strong community here in Balba. So all of these elements that I've talked about are an important part of it, um, and I think it's important to recognise that no one um, piece of the puzzle um, 
is more important than others. I think when they come together, they create something really special that acknowledges the special community that is Balga, the special history and culture that we have here, and also has a forward-looking message in terms of health and well-being for the community in physical activity, but in the strong bonds of community that we create when we walk and recreate together. Um, as a community, we know we need to watch out for one another. We know that makes our community stronger, uh, and this project significantly contributes to that. So it is a great pleasure for me to be here with you today. I think this is a remarkable project um, and the heart and soul of it, I think, tells, tells us a lot about the strength and the resilience of the Balcombe community. And I think part of my job is to officially declare the Walk Trail open. So thank you.